What's up guys, how are you all doing? Hey, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out how to create a web page and host it on an ESP8266, which is one of the Arduino compatible, very lightweight, Wi-Fi enabled devices. If that sounds like something to be interesting to you, then stay tuned because it's coming up right here, right now on MI Sparing. Okay guys, so let's take a look at how we're gonna be setting up and coding this. I do want to make a shout out real quick because I got this code from another place on the internet. I wanna show you this, uh, link will be down in the description, but uh, I wanna show this from Random Nerd Tutorials. Um, they're the ones that basically supplied the whole idea as well as check out their video. It's actually a very good video. They supplied basically the code, they tell you how to set up the board managers and everything. It's actually a very well written uh, site. We did alter the code a little bit because I think, I believe they they did theirs for the full-blown ESP8266. They show the, the the small one being hooked up right there, but then they end up using a big one, and so everything is coded for one of these big ones, whereas I'm going to be using the ESP8266-01 receiver, which is this little small tiny one, all right? So that I do want to give a quick shout out to them because this is where I'm gathering the code from. I don't I'm not going to claim anything uh, that somebody else's as my own. So anyway, once we start that, let's take a look at how I have spun and twisted uh, on this code to get it to work with the ESP8266-01 module. So, well, of course, we're including the 8266 Wi-Fi. Um, of course, I just made an edit. Um, you just need to put in your SSID and your password into this field. So whatever your SSID is and, and maybe whatever your, your password is. And then you can choose your port number. Now me, I've altered this from port 80 to port 8080 just to, I don't know, just to change it up so that way, you know, port 80 is a very known port. So we start with all of our output states being off. Basically we start our serial up, set all of our settings for our pins, set our pins to be low. I'm using the output two and output zero is what I'm using. I set those pins here. So I sign that. And then we come down through here and basically all you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be using the, uh, let's see, let's go down through here and let's see, we create um, our Wi-Fi client, okay, which is our server dot available. So that's uh, starts up the, yeah, the listening. And then we're basically just gonna build a web page in here is all we do. We're gonna be checking the header to see which pin is on, which pin is off. And then we go ahead and build the uh, display, all right? So that's basically how we do it. So we're just doing a normal uh, HTML page and we're just using the, we're using the println command uh, on our client. So we defined our client uh, up here. Let's see wherever that was at, blah, blah, blah. There it is, Wi-Fi client. So we defined it that we're gonna be a server and that we're gonna make it available. And then we basically just use all the different subcommands underneath that to um, print out the display. So basically I did something really quick. Let me see if I can grab it for you. Give me this, give me this. Sorry folks, I just thought of this. I wanted to show you this real fast. But I went ahead and created the HTML for it. So here we go. So this is the, oops, nope, that is. <laughs> There's the HTML code, uh, what it looks like in, you know, like it looks better, but this is basically our HTML. So there's our style of our buttons right here. We're using just CSS to do that. Um, or titling it here with the header. Um, we're doing uh, the GPIO states and then we're calling for those uh, those variables. So we get the states uh, that they're in, whether they're on or they're off. And then we call our buttons, and that's pretty much it. You know, I mean, it really is it. We're using the H reference to post the uh, the on or the off, and um, that's our, our coded deals, the for on or for off or whatever. Um, so that way it knows we receive that then in the coding. Oops, I'll get back here, which is right here. See, so we're looking for that on and that off. Um, oh, except except I did I did leave it what they had. I've forgot to change that one so really you would change this instead of five on you know you would change that to what I had so this is still using four and five this was their code that they had from the the nerd tutorials so really this would be um, let's see this would be this one would be zero and this one would be two so you would have to make that change you'd have to make that uh, two and then we make this one uh, zero like that and that's uh, that should match the code that we have in the Arduino so let's look down through here and I'll show you 
yeah, there's the two, and then there's the zero. So see that? So that's the that's the receiving uh, pieces. So when you click the button, it sends that in, and of course then that gets churned through in our if then to check to see whether we're turning two on or off or zero on or off. All right. So that's basically all there is to the code. So that's simple enough. Let's go ahead and throw her over onto the bench, and we will check it out. All right, guys, here's a quick schematic of how we're going to be hooking it up here on the bench. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, so I got everything wired up as I showed in the uh, in the wiring diagram, as well as we got the code flashed to the module. And so here it is uh, all hooked up. I've got the two LEDs right here. One's on GPIO 0, the other one is on GPIO 2. All right, and I've even got the web page pulled up. So you just basically go, I don't know if you can see that, but you go to the web address. We uh, You can go into your router uh, and look up uh, what address it gave it to figure out what it is, or you can just leave this you know, plugged into your serial port on your computer, and basically we have it where it prints out what uh, IP address that it gets. You go to that IP address and whatever port, like we designated the 8080 part as you showed, and uh, then that way you can get to your web server. And if all goes well, you should load up your web server, and when we press the buttons, it turns on our LEDs and off. So there we go, guys. There it is working. And we also see a reaction in the web page. They change from on buttons to off buttons. The state feedback is working. It comes back and says what state is which and what mode it's in. Okay, guys. So let's uh, get a wrap up on this. That's basically how it is. And you can change up the, the, the web page however you want. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video on the ESP8266 using it to host a web page on it. Definitely check out other videos. At the end of this one, I'll have different links to different videos for more information for the ESP8266, as well as check out some of my videos on Home Assistant, how to use one of these devices and integrate into Home Assistant. We'll be having more videos coming up, so definitely stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because that helps out the channel quite a bit. Also, check me out on Patreon. Uh, you can uh, become a Patreon member and uh, give. there's a couple tiers. I think there's a $1 tier and a $5 tier. So pick a tier that works for you and that actually helps out the channel allows us to buy more things we got more videos coming up as well as a christmas special and some other cool stuff i think you're going to enjoy also make sure that you hit that bell because i send out all kinds of uh, surveys on videos and stuff. I send out surveys asking you what kind of video you would like to see next. And if there's something that you would love to see, definitely check those out as well as message me. Hit the comment section up down below. Hit me up on Twitter or Facebook or any of those places. Links are down in the description. And definitely let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see and I will be sure to create it. Thanks guys for watching and we will see you next time.